TV Spotlight, Taggart, with Mark McManus. Gentle viewer, I am here today to talk to you about one of my all-time favorite television shows, the great Scottish crime thriller series Taggart. Principally, I want to talk to you about the Taggart that starred Mark McManus as, well, Taggart. This is a pretty specific video. I am of the mind that doesn't really have much time for the series it became after the death of the main actor and title character. It was never really the same after that, and in the 2000s it fell the way of modern Doctor Who by sacrificing its special format of two or even three part stories in favor of 45 minute runarounds that had zero time to involve the viewer in the guest characters, and thus you didn't really give a crap about who got killed or who turned out to be the murderer. This era of the show also became somewhat ridiculous in that, with the limitations of that format and four regular characters to service, almost every single case seemed to involve one of the four on a personal level somehow. All very silly. I was sad to see the show axed around 2010 but at the same time it was a long, long way from its glory days. No, I want to talk to you about the taggart that I adore. The Taggart that ran from 1983, via the one-off episode simply titled Killer, to 1995, when the Taggart character died off-screen in their, admittedly excellent, Black Orchid. I love this show. Taggart in the 80s through to the mid-90s was pretty much the best crime drama on television. It had a gritty yet almost gothic sensibility that made Glasgow seem a very sinister place indeed and it had some truly fantastic stories that still stand up today as great mystery thrillers. Even in the stories where I can still remember who the killer was, the show still offers so much to enjoy, starting with Mark McManus' blazing central performance as the irascible Jim Taggart, one of the greatest television detectives of all time. That greatness goes all the way down to the rest of the regulars, from Taggart's first sidekick D.S. Peter Livingston, played by Neil Duncan, who Taggart really doesn't seem to like at all, to the much-loved D.S. Mike Jardine, played by James McPherson, who despite their obvious differences does seem to get on rather better with Jim, even if that doesn't mean that Jim won't rag on him when he gets the chance or he just feels like it. I also love the stalwart supporting characters of the long-suffering Chief Superintendent McVitie, as played by Ian Anders, and Dr. Andrews. The team's perpetually blasé forensics chief as played so wonderfully and charmingly by Robert Robertson. These guys were a much-loved part of the show for me back in the day and I remember being both baffled and deeply upset when they disappeared from the series not long after Taggart. Of course. Now I am aware that both actors similarly passed away in around the same time frame as McManus, but at the time, while I was aware of the lead actors passing because of the media, I just did not understand what had happened to them and was very annoyed by it. And what stories? Taggart could be amazingly dark, grim, gritty and violent. Most of the truly great stories tended to be written by either the series creator Glenn Chandler or Julian Jones, and I will mention a few of my absolute favorites here. Possibly the earliest bona fide classic is Murder in Season, which sees members of the same wealthy family getting bumped off in gruesome fashion. Inheritance seems the likely motive, but who's really behind the murders? Another of my favorites is The Killing Philosophy, in which the investigation into a serial rapist soon becomes a murder case where nothing is quite what it appears. Death Comes Softly sees a serial killer targeting the elderly, where the identity of the perpetrator, and the flimsy motive behind it, is truly disturbing. Fatal Inheritance sees a dark family secret as the motive for a clan being targeted by a vengeful killer who carries around a decidedly creepy little doll while Nest of Vipers sees the discovery of a skeleton and the theft of deadly poisonous spiders and snakes from a scientific laboratory result in a series of gruesome murders as a truly twisted psychopath attempts to erase the chain of evidence that could lead to his identification. The excellent Forbidden Fruit, which sees the guest return of Peter Livingston for the first time in many years, 
sees a fertility clinic doctor exposed as the father of dozens of his clients' children, which sparks off a set of gruesome killings as someone attempts to hide an even more twisted and disturbing secret. I adore Taggart, or at least the Taggart that actually had Taggart in it. You don't really seem to hear much about these days, or at least I don't, which is a great shame. Last year I finished another rewatch of the classic era, which took me a couple of years to get through, and loved it all over again. It's truly classic television that deserves more appreciation because, in its prime, Taggart was truly unmissable crime drama.